Hello YouTubers, it's Artisan Tony and I have something pretty cool to show you today. I purchased these fire starting kits from Mission Preparedness. These guys are vets who have created this product and I just wanted to uh, support them. Of course I'm a fire bug so <laughs> you can see I carry a, a ferro rod on my keychain uh, mainly because you know in construction we're starting fires a lot to burn stuff and there's my little cold steel uh, keychain knife and keys and junk my surefire flashlight so I'll have a link in the description for these I uh, got these from eBay off of their eBay store and I'm, I'm guilty of not keeping this knife very sharp so I'm just going to kind of poke it <laughs> and get it open and we'll see. I ordered one kit that was kind of a, a kit and I'll show you that in more detail. And then there was refills for the kit. So what I did was I went and ordered, oh that's cool, looks like a piece of fat wood. And I ordered another ferro rod because what I wanted was a complete kit to give away in our upcoming 10 year anniversary giveaway. So I'm collecting lots of stuff for our 10 year giveaway and it's just going to be huge. This is cool. This is another container that they sell that is, I'm assuming, waterproof, semi-waterproof. And it's just like a capsule with the ugly sticks. By the way, these are called ugly sticks here. I'll show you how they work in a minute. I'm trying to get everything in the package. I keep wanting to go play with the stuff. These must be the actual refills there. And I'm starting to think, yeah, he sent me, <laughs> he sent me more stuff than I paid for, and I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. The, the fellow's names are LJ and uh, D. Scott. I have actually talked to them just through email. Oh, cool! Another fat wood, and another striker, another ferro rod. That's cool. What else? Another letter. Another. So that looks like that's that. Got instructions on how to light it. So I apologize for the background noise. If you can hear it, some trucker, some diesel truck guy decided he wants to leave his diesel truck idling in the background of my video. <laughs> Even though I live in a residential area, not sure where that's coming from. But what I thought I would do is just take some sticks, some small twigs, not really tender, and see if I could light them. This is all I could find quickly enough for the video. And it is kind of wet. It, just, it rained this morning. So this will be a good test. Let me get these sticks broken up. So what you do is you just ruffle up, ruffle the ends of the feathers <laughs> ruffle the feathers just ruffle up the end this kind of reminds me of my uh, lint logs that I've made if you've never seen my uh, lint log videos I'll put the link right here maybe even some short video footage of how I take lint dryer lint and lay it out and use gel wax to make lint logs with and they burn for I think I think the longest test I've done is like 15 minutes. Now these aren't going to burn that long because they're smaller, but it should work as a really good match uh, to get your tinder started. 
Now they're showing a method where they're holding the ugly stick behind the knife and uh, then they're just striking the ferro rod. Well that worked pretty good actually. <laughs> and I know people fuss at me for using the, the sharp edge of my knife but I don't care. Knives are tools to me. That's all. And uh, if I, they get dull I sharpen it. So don't cry over the edge of a knife. So what I'm going to do is zoom in here a little bit and I'm going to test this puppy out on some wet some wet tinder and it's going to smoke because it is wet and we'll just see if we can get it to light now typically what you would do is shave yourself off some probably fat wood I don't know if this knife is sharp enough yeah it's a little sharp I should have brought my more out. Let me back this out a little bit. Better keep an eye on that. <laughs> what I would do, which I think the idea is to take yourself, get yourself some fat wood. Yeah, it's not very sharp at all. And make yourself a little pile of it you know, and like that. And then <laughs> scoot that under there too. Now these are, you know, they're billed as um, reusable matches, and you could you could pull it out and put it out. Um, but if the tinder is wet like this, it might take a little longer to start your fire than you thought. So I'm just going to leave that under there, and I've got you know oodles. If you've got one of these containers full of ugly sticks, then you don't really need to worry about it. But I think, I think you're going to have plenty of fire starting capability with just one if you've got wet tender. Well, guys, I think that's a pretty good test. This, uh, like I said, this tender was wet and I got it started pretty easily. And so I want to thank LJ. <laughs> I'm getting smoked out. But. I want to thank LJ and D. Scott. It's going to go out if I don't. It's funny when you're trying to make a video, you know, you can't tend your fire. It'll go out on you if you're being careful. I got to put some of these smaller twigs on the fire. I, don't, I didn't really put the right size twigs on, in the right places. Anyway, I'll tend with this. And uh, thanks a lot. I'll put a link in the description. And. Be ready for a giveaway, guys. Um, a pretty big one um, coming up. Uh, like I said, we're celebrating our 10 years, and we're really excited. And uh, we were hoping to be to 100,000 in 10 years, but you know, whatever. It's still just a hobby for us, and we're having fun. We'll continue on. And um, thanks a lot. I gotta get this fire going. Nice.